Yeah, thanks very much for the talk. Um, I think Sean's earlier point was right in that the theorist will tr want to kind of use nomic fragility to argue that the probability of life is low in some sense. And I think this can be done even without assuming that nomic fragility in itself confirms theism. I think if you accept that nomic fragility and theism are independent, you can derive a result where you, all you have to do is to confirm theism, all you have to do is look at the Bayes factor for the ratio of the probability of life given theism and nomic fragility over the probability of life given atheism and nomic fragility. And so if, as long as you accept that the, um, the, the probability of life given theism and nomic fragility is relatively high, and the probability of life given atheism and nomic fragility is low, I think an argument could get off the ground. Yes, but, so. but I, I want to get clear what I, I'm asking whether nomic fragility gives a boost beyond life. Of course, the conjunction... I perfectly well know that the, 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 the conjunction life and nomic fragility will boost theism relative to the priors. I know that. That's basically what you're telling me. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about whether nomic fragility gives an additional boost beyond life. Of course, you know, life and nomic fragility is going to have, I can well imagine, has a higher probability condition on theism than it is on naturalism. Right. So the conjunction life and nomic fragility, that conjunction gives a boost to theism relative to the priors. That's fine. Great. But that doesn't answer the question that I was interested in, which is whether nomic fragility gives an additional boost. To answer that question, you imagine two update stages. You first learn that there's life. Then you... Uh, that boosts theism, undoubtedly. Then you learn, stage two, that there's nomic fragility. The question is, is there an additional uh, boost at stage two? And I don't think you are... You, were re you weren't controlling for, for that question, whether stage two provides an additional boost. I think my point was that kind of the way the Bayesian fine-tuning proponent should view it is that the nomic fragility gives you good reason to think that the probability of life given nomic fragility and atheism is very low. I mean, I'm not, yeah, I'm not saying that... I mean, I agree with you, basically, but I'm just saying that the fine-tuning proponent could say that life gives a really big boost to theism by virtue of conditionalizing first on nomic fragility. And that's my only point. Um, so we might well be agreed. I'm just saying that the fine-tuning argument could get off the ground just by arguing that life itself gives very good evidence. So, I mean, we might be agreed. But I see. Well, that, okay. uh, maybe that's how. I, I'll have a bit more of a think about it. Yes? Okay. Um, Lauren? So I think this is another way of putting the previous point, that even once you do um, have the evidence of life, then once you additionally take into account nomic fr fragility, that should give a boost to theism. And that's because, so in your diagram, imagine that in each sort of uh, side of the thing, we divide the space into nomic fragility and non-nomic, and nomic robustness. Yeah. So on the theism side, the, this division is just going to cross-cut life or not. Well, in particular, um, since the only space is the, the life space, it's just whatever the, the probability of gnomic fragility... Remember, this is gnomic fragility for life. I mean, something yeah. can be... No, yeah, no, yeah so that's it's right. Gnomic, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For, I just for life. Sure. So yeah, we're yeah, talking yeah. gnomic fragility for life. Right. So um, before we thought about um, the evidence for, for life or not, whatever the uh, ratio of gnomic fragility to gnomic stability on the... The theist side, that's the same ratio within the life region. But on the other side, the ratio of gnomic fragility to gnomic uh, stability or robustness is but different in the life region than in the non-life region. So what that means is, so that's another way of saying that um, gnomic fragility is not probabilistically independent of life on the atheist side, but it is on the theist side. So what happens when you learn um, that there's nomic fragility is that the um, life region shrinks by more on the atheistic side because uh, that's the block in which uh, nomic fragility takes up a very small portion and nomic uh, robustness takes up a large portion, but nothing similar happens on the theistic I mean, side. I mean, suppose the priors were like this, they're... Um, 
I don't quite see the inevitability you're talking about. So, I mean, suppose I have a space of conceivable laws, okay? Space of conceivable laws, and I have a measure over the laws. I don't quite see why that ratio, uh, I, I couldn't maintain that ratio both within this region and that region. So let's put it this way. If, um, let's say we want a prior... Can, 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 yeah. can we just, 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 let's have the simplifying assumption uh -huh. that there's just one initial, um, one initial condition. We, we're certain of the initial condition. Can we simplify that sure. way? Yeah. So we've got one initial condition that we're certain of. Let's just simplify. Uh -huh. So the, the whole state space is permeated by one initial condition. Okay. okay. And then the question okay. is whether that condition is fragile or not. Is that, that's that? the bit of evidence. No, no, whether the law is fragile for life. Okay. And now given there's only one initial condition, that's just about whether laws in the neighborhood of that, if, uh, to be fragile for life, it's got to give life with respect to the initial condition, and also uh, in, uh, stuff in the neighborhood doesn't give life with regard to that okay. initial condition. To be nomically robust is it gives life with regard to, okay. okay. So we've got one initial condition, a whole space of laws. There's a division between the ones that generate, let's suppose, determinism. Let's suppose half of them give life with respect to the initial condition, half of them no life, and then, and then within these, there's a division between the uh, robust and the fragile, yeah? Uh, sure. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, so the so maybe think about it this way. Uh, let's say you want to draw your space in such a way that um, you assign some particular probability to nomic fragility and some to nomic stability. It doesn't matter. So when you're drawing this on this, the theist side, you're just dividing up the life block because you've devi defined theist, theism in such a way that the yes. life block takes up the entire space. So you just divide that in, you know, three mm -hmm. and three and one or whatever the ratio is. I suppose and it's three the, and one. Yeah, okay. Um, okay so, so then it's three to fragility, okay. to one robustness. Okay. Yeah. So then on the um, the uh, the naturalist the side, side, you want to divide up your space in such a way that you may uh, to have some ratio, some particular ratio, it doesn't need to be the same ratio, I think, between um, uh, fragility and stability, but now you have um, two blocks to divide up. You have the life block and the non-life block, right? Right. And so if you think that um, fragility is relevant to, to life, if you think these two things aren't independent, so if, for example, you think that life is more likely to arise when the conditions aren't fragile, which is like what mm -hmm. fine tuning says, then you have to, when you're dividing up the block to make it say a three to one ratio, you have to make the ratio larger than three to one in the um, non-life block and smaller than three to one in the life block. Um, that's, that's a way of representing the fact that, um, that life is more likely to arise under gnomic stability than under gnomic fragility. I, I so guess, once you I, do that... I guess we'd have to... Uh, what, I mean, the way I was in my super simplified scenario, if the law doesn't... Where there's just one initial condition, if the law doesn't produce life, then it's neither robust for life or fragile for life. It's a third category, which is it's nothing. Uh, okay, so... Neither. Do, do, do you see what I mean? So... I'm not sure I see whether it's so relevant. In the I, I'm not sure how I see how that's relevant, I guess. But I might just... So I'm in the non-life region, it will, all the laws will be neither fragile for life nor robust for life. <laughs> all of them. I mean, it's, so basically, I think the main point is unless when you... Unless learning uh, that there's life entails learning that the conditions are fragile... No, it doesn't. Then, then if you think that... Uh, the probability of life is not independent from the probability of uh, non-robustness, then you think uh, the condition, so that's to say the conditional probability of life given 
uh, fragility and naturalism is higher than just the conditional probability of life given naturalism, if you think that's true, then you have to think this other ratio, the conditional probability of um, fragility given life, is lower than the conditional probability. Okay, so prob let, let, let me just draw the thing. Let, okay. Let's draw a state space okay. and you tell me what, what are the facts of independence okay. in this state space. Okay. There's a quarter that's life. Mm -hmm. There's three categories of laws in the superset. There's uh, fragile for life, robust for life, and neither. Okay. okay. All of these are neither. Three quarters of this are fragile for life. Uh, a quarter of this is robust for life. Mm -hmm. Three quarters of this is fragile for life. Three qu a, a quarter of that's robust. Okay. So okay. half of the natural, half of the natural region is uh, basically has no life in it. The part that has life in it is three to one, fragile to robust, okay. and the same here. Okay, so okay. what's true in that diagram is that um, uh, life is equally likely under fragility as it is under... Um, Not under the negation of... well. As it is under robust... Uh, so uh, one thing is you haven't. Yeah, life is nothing... equally likely conditional on, no, on so, fragility. So here's the way. Like, I know. Could we just can I say okay. exactly what the problem is? Let's continue this. We have a whole round. I would table. like to continue. So I'd like okay. to get straight. So we have a whole round table coming up. So let's. Okay. Um, just to add one um, physics comment, some parts of the discussion might be irrelevant if we add the condition life as we know it. And then the gnomic fragility, surely uh, we're certain that, it, that you know, there's no, no gnomic robustness. Life is incredibly, life as we know it's incredibly fragile. That, would that not simplify? It, so there's, there's fragility for initial conditions and fragility for laws. So what you're saying for laws, is... For laws. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm not disputing the fact that we've learned that, that I'm happy to suppose that we've learned that... Mm -hmm. Uh, the laws are fragile with respect to life as we know it. Uh, what I'm interested in is whether that gives an additional boost to theism beyond the relative to the priors, beyond the discovery that there's life as we know it. Uh, so we can hypothesize as a being who really would like life as we know it. We just, oh, there's life as we know it. That boosts theism. I was just trying to bear down on the question whether then the additional discovery by physicists that uh, the laws are fragile with respect to life as we know it then gives an additional boost to theism. And I was, it was really, I mean, I don't want to be too doctrinaire. I was trying to get, ask for help, and some of you have been, you know, trying, and I'll keep going, help to get into the frame of mind where it does give an additional boost. So I wasn't disputing that we've discovered uh, gnomic fragility. I'm just interested in how do I flesh out a frame of mind where I think that that gives a, a, an additional boost to theism? And it's not. Um, and and, and I, I think it it's it's it, it's a, it at least bears some working out. Okay. So th thank you again, John. We should move on.